Welcome to Positive Impact Now with your hosts, Judge Angel and Mike Faust. For the next 60 minutes, we're going to inspire and uplift our listeners. The phone lines are open at 731-1230. That's 731-1230 or toll free 1-866-820-5528. That's 1-866-820-KLAV. It's time for Positive Impact Now. Now. And here are the hosts, Judge Angel and Mike Faust. Welcome. This is Positive Impact Now. That's right, court's back in session. I'm Judge Angel, and this is a show about you and for you. You're invited to suggest topics and even be a guest, or as I like to say, an inspiration witness, one who will inform and inspire others. Remember, leave your ideas and your suggestions on our website, which is www.positiveimpactnow.com. Like us on Facebook and share the information from the show with your friends and family. Our goal is to increase wisdom and daily success. Today, we've got a marvelous show. First of all, we've got our host here. Hi, everybody. How's everything going today? I'm Mike Faust, broker salesperson with First Choice Business Brokers and co-host on Judge Angel's Positive Impact Now show. Thank you for joining us. Today we're bringing you some insider's information. That's right, the secrets about what is happening while you're shopping. Who's really in control? Are you shopping and spending big bucks because you want to? or because there's secret little lights and sounds taking place that make you want to spend more money. We're going to find out today from our guest, Professor Huddleston. But do we have a treat for you? We have the national writer, author, speaker, television celebrity here with us to share information about which oils Make your brain smarter. Which oils give you better vision? And which oils can give you a better mood? That's going to help. It's none other than Dr. William Sears. He explains a scientifically proven plan for feeling young and living longer. Let's hear from Dr. William Sears. Hello, to you, Dr. Seals. Thank you so much for joining the show. Positive. Good morning. <laughs> Happy to be with you. Thank you so much. I'm Judge Angel, and this is the Positive Impact Now show. We are so delighted to have with us today Dr. William Sears. He is a well-known, well-loved doctor prolific author, husband to a super talented woman, and we call her Martha. She's also a registered nurse, and he is the father to wonderful children, including Dr. Jim Seals, who's seen every Monday through Friday on the doctor's show. Dr. Seals and Martha have raised eight children and practiced medicine for over 30 years. He has appeared on more than 100 television programs, such as 2020, Good Morning America, Our Girl Oprah, CBS This Morning, CNN, NBC's Today Show, and many, many more. Dr. Seals, thank you so much for joining us. We're so honored to have you with us. Well, thank you, Judge. What a nice introduction. I'm very (laughs) pleased and honored to be with you. Oh, our pleasure. Now, you help parents. You help parents get prepared for their children from pregnancy on. Let me ask you, what is your opinion of breastfeeding versus the formula? Well, Judge, you know, I've been uh, in practice now for 
40 years. And I see parents come into my office and ask me that question. And uh, the, in fact, uh, uh, the other day, a young couple came in and asked me that question. And I and and the uh, I, said, I asked the husband, um, w- you know, what do you do for a living? He says, I'm an investment banker. And I said, well, how would you like to encourage your wife to make the best investment you can ever make into the future of your child to have a smarter, happier, healthier child to lower the risk of all those illnesses you don't want your child to get. And he's looking at me with big wide eyes and I said, oh, of course, tell me. <laughs> I said, one word, breastfeed. Breastfeed your baby as long and as often as both mother and baby are willing and able. Wonderful. There's science, be- and, and, and Judge, I'm a science, a show me the science doctor. I won't advise to my patients or do in my practice or my own family anything that's not backed up by solid science. And so I assure you, anything we talk about today is scientifically proved, and breastfeeding wins hands down over formula feeding. Okay, well, that is so good to know. So that should sort of clear it up for parents. And you said something, I'm sorry, doctor. Yeah, it, it should clear it up because there's a lot of um, misconceptions that formula is almost as good and everything. Breastfeeding is the best investment you can make. I would think that would compare uh, somewhat to is drinking orange juice as good as eating the orange. <laughs> <laughs> very, you know, that's a very good analogy. And, <laughs> and one of the reasons, one of the reasons is the healthy fats in breast milk. And here's how I present it to moms. I said, you realize you're growing a little fat head. And they looked at me with big wide eyes. On oh, what? Yes, you're growing a little fat head. The brain is 60% fat. Uh, all of our brains are 60% fat. Okay. So you put the right fats in those little growing brains, which grow the fastest in the first two years and any time in a child's life. They triple in volume. And, you, and that's the best fats are in mama's milk. Wonderful. Uh, you also said something about breastfeeding that I think is key when you said as long as the baby and the mother are willing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. If- because it needs to be, you know, feeding, feeding is a mutually enjoyable, um, re- uh, you're going to spend more time feeding your baby in the first couple years than any single interaction in your whole life. So it's very important that you and your baby enjoy it. For sure. Today we're talking with Dr. William Seals, the famous Dr. Seals, and we're just going over some of the bigger problems that parents encounter when they have young children. Uh, Doctor, what are some of the better ways to ease a child into sleep? Okay, easing a child into sleep. Uh, The importance is creating a healthy sleep attitude. You want your baby to learn that sleep is a a happy state to enter and a happy state to remain in. And that's why um, there's a lot of bad advice out there. And the worst advice parents can follow is let your baby cry. You know, train them to sleep by letting them cry and don't spoil them and don't go in. Kind of like you train them. Yeah, they say don't pick them up. Just let them cry. Bad advice. And and one of the things I say to moms, they say, well, Dr. Bill, give me me the top parenting tip. And I said, okay, life with your baby is a series of reactions. My baby does this. My child does this. What do I do? So before you react, put yourself behind the eyes of your child and ask yourself, If I were Johnny, if I were Susie, how would I want my mother or father to respond? And you do it, and you'll always get it right. Beautiful. Isn't that the adage, uh, treat others as you like to be treated? (laughs) Absolutely, uh, Judge. And, in fact, one of the things I enjoy, even though I'm a pediatrician, um, I, I say I'm a doctor for 
for all organs at all ages. I love, um, I'm starting to see more and more senior citizens in my practice, and uh, uh, the young parents in my practice are bringing their own mom and dad in for consultation, and it's quite, it's quite funny when they, they say, now, mom and dad, I want you to sit there and listen to what Dr. Bill has to say. <laughs> 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 well, you know, uh, the, the good part about it, you mentioned scientific research, and that is something you spend a lot of time with. And science is really showing us, showing us that some of the myths and methods that we've used in the past were not necessarily the very best. And one of the ones I think of, Dr. Sears, is for the childhood illnesses. And I, for some reason... I know that a lot of children have ear infections, and I wonder why are ear infections so common in children? Well, they're so common because they're uh, for two reasons, uh, Judge. Their their immunity is low, and their immunity is low, and the eustachian tube, which drains the the fluid out of the ear, is horizontal. So anytime you get a cold in the nose or the sinuses, that fluid travels into the ears. And um, and, and actually, one of the things, um, uh, and I want to make a confession to you, if I sound overly passionate when I talk about health and nutrition, that is because uh, 15 years ago, I had a serious health crisis. And Excuse I'm me, happy to report. you said 15 years ago. 15 years ago, I had a serious health crisis and a serious case of colon cancer. Oh. Now, uh, so that was a wake-up call for me. Now, I'm happy to report at the age of nearly 74, um, I'm in extremely good health. I'm 40 pounds lighter. I'm 7 inches off my waist leaner. I take no regular prescription medicines. And I'm enjoying the goal of every prime timer, or what I call prime timer senior citizens. Everything works and nothing hurts. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and that's our goal. And I like that term, prime timers. Uh, We're prime timers. Yes, we are. are. Time and, of our life. Yes, indeed. And you and your son, uh, well, actually, you and your wife have written a book, I think, called Prime Time Health. Yes, prime time health, and and um, in fact, I'm going to send you one as a gift, and uh, with 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 doctor's orders, though, Judge, uh, <laughs> r- read it and do it. <laughs> I shall. Um, and and uh, the theory, the theme of the book, and this is this is what um, I did when I was putting my own health plan together. I surrounded myself with very brilliant health and nutrition scientists, and one of these won the Nobel Prize. And the theme of the book that people have never heard, and that is, our bodies are designed to make our own internal medicine. That did you know, Judge, that 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 our that we are a giant walking pharmacy. I believe in, it. Yeah, and inside our body, we can make um, most of the medicines we need. Now, fortunately, not all of them are. Uh, we doctors be out of business, but we can make medicines that lower the highs, like. Uh, high blood cholesterol, high blood sugar, high blood pressure, medicines that raise the lows, like antidepressants, medicines that mellow your moods, medicines that heal your hurts, like anti-inflammatories. And in fact, um, when I come to your wonderful city uh, this coming Friday night, giving a talk at the um, at the Las Vegas Hilton, um, and I want to invite all your guests as my guests. Yes, we have a um, special surprise for the listeners good. at and, the end of the interview, I, yes. I'm going to be talking. Um, my, my theme is uh, the top health tips for all ages. I'm going to go from the baby in the womb to we prime timers. And, and one of the themes is I'm going to take you inside your body and show you that you're a giant walking pharmacy and how you can make most of the medicines you're going to need. Yes, we, let's get back to that, and we're definitely going to pass on information to our listeners about when that's going to happen. Right now, we're going to take a short break. Uh, I'm Mike Faust, and Judge Angel is here, uh, KLAV 1230 AM. Hi, 
Positive Impact is a show about you. Do you want to improve in areas of your health, attitudes, and most of all, your enjoyment? I'm Judge Angel. Along with guest hosts, Positive Impact will bring you information, coaching, and encouragement to reach your goals. Join us every Thursday from 4 to 5 for your Positive Impact with Judge Angel. Positive Impact every Thursday, 4 to 5 p.m. Tomorrow's pediatric medical care is available today at all 22 of the Shriners Hospitals thanks to leading-edge research and an outstanding teaching program. And this care is available without charge. The Shriners spend $1.7 million a day providing their world-class medical care because to the Shriners, kids represent our future. There's a Shriners Hospital helping kids from this area. Call 1-800-237-5055 for more information. Shriners, having fun and helping kids. Call 38255. You're listening to Positive Impact Now. Now. The phone lines are open at 731-1230. Now, here again, your host, Judge Angel and Mike Faust. Welcome back, everybody. This is Mike Faust, and I'm here with my Judge Angel. (laughs) And uh, we're talking with the magnificent Dr. Sears. In fact, I want to remind you before we continue with the interview uh, that he is going to be here for a one-night-only stand. Uh, that's on Friday, September 20th. This that's coming tomorrow. Friday. How about tomorrow. that? Yes, that's at the LVH Ballrooms D&E in the convention area. For, that's formerly the Las Vegas Hilton over on Paradise Road. It's from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., and there's going to be great health tips for all ages. And remember, that's the LVH, same place, different name, and it's in the casino. So it's in the LVH uh, casino. And this is uh, Dr. William Sears, who is a doctor for all organs and all ages. His motto is, uh, everything, uh, nothing hurts and everything works. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to go back and rejoin Dr. Sears at this time. And make most of the medicines you're going to need. One for we are talking to Dr. William Seals. I'm Judge Angel, and this is Positive Impact Now. Uh, you can visit us on our web- website. It's called PositiveImpactNow.com. And as Dr. Seals just mentioned, he is going to be in Las Vegas at the LVH Ballroom D&E. And we have tickets that we're sharing with the listeners, and you're more than welcome to uh, join us. It's going to be information about prime time and to understand how to treat our inner body. I think that's so fantastic, Dr. Yeah. Seals. And you that's tell us... The words, the inner body you just mentioned. Yes, we can feel young and live longer. And the key is not just living longer, but to live well. We're, yeah. You know, we're mobile. We have a good mood. Uh, there's so many jokes about people growing older, and they get so cranky, and, you know, they only want to sit in front of the TV and watch their show and go in their room. That's no way to live. We're talking about going out there, bowling, dancing, eating with your friends, and just having a good time, socializing. Yeah. yeah. And and I'm so glad you mentioned that term, we sit too much. In fact, Judge, did you realize there's, there's a new disease in the medical dictionary of my doctors, and that's called the, the sitting disease. Okay. <laughs> we, we are a generation of sitters now. And one of the things I'm going to show on Friday night, I'm going to show a little video clip as I take you inside your body. And this won the Nobel Prize. This is exciting. That, that when we move, when we dance, when we play golf, when we walk fast, or just, just enjoy movement, the blood flows faster over the medicine bottles in your pharmacy. And I'm not going to tell you where that is. You've got to come Friday night. Okay. And, and, and when the, when the blood flows faster over the medicine bottles, they open and release medicines into your system. And that finding, that discovery that of the giant walk-in pharmacy and how movement opens our medicine bottles, that actually won the Nobel Prize. 
I am so not surprised because since we've been on these computers, Doctor, it's been life changing. I think when we used to walk and talk and uh, call people and really be more active, but now yeah. everything's on the computer. People are locked in one chair and they're yeah. there for eight hours typing to get oh. carpal tunnel. <laughs> oh yes, and 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 we have a, we have a um, uh, a generation of itis. I call them all the itis, it's inflammation, and and also uh, brain. Uh, I'll ask you a, a little quiz, Judge. What do you think is the number one illness in America? Which organ do you think is the sickest? I I would think the liver. Because it's filtering the most toxin. Close. Uh, I would think. Uh, okay, that's not it. The heart, of course. The heart. The brain. Close. The brain. The brain. Ah. The brain. You got, you got it. <laughs> that's the general manager. <laughs> yes, the general manager. That's the perfect term for it. Because, and this is this is a shocking statistic. For the first time in history neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and multiple sclerosis and um, Parkinsonism, those uh, uh, brain diseases have overtaken cardiovascular disease as the number one illness in America Mm. uh, for the first time in history. And, And I was playing golf the other day with one of the world's experts in Alzheimer's disease, Vince Fortinus, professor of neurology at uh, uh, USC down here. And I said, Vince, when does Alzheimer's begin? And he said, Alzheimer's begins in childhood. Mm. Really? Yeah. You don't all of a sudden get Alzheimer's. It's in, in all, the, all the, the junk foods that the kids are eating and the artificial coloring and the dyes and the pollutants. You lose brain cells beginning at childhood, but you have so many extra moves, you don't miss them until around 50 or 60, it catches up with you. And that's one of the topics I'm going to talk about in, um, um, on, on um, Friday, the uh, seminar, uh, Friday yes. Night. So, uh, Alzheimer's you, begins in childhood. And, and that's something that makes me think that if it starts that early and it's that gradual, that when we recognize that we're going in that direction, we may be able to super energize our brain, super energize our diet to make it truly healthy so that we can stop the damage. Yes, yes, you're absolutely, it's, uh, it's the most serious, but also the most preventable. And, and, the, and the, um, the reason the brain is so vulnerable through toxins and junk foods is, again, because of the fat. Fat is most vulnerable tissue, and the brain is 60% fat, so we need a right fat diet. In fact, you mentioned the magic word diet, uh, Judge, and I wanted to kind of maybe clear up a few misconceptions. The term diet simply means a way of eating. We are all on a, a diet, and one of the common questions I always get asked, Dr. Bill, with your transformation uh, of uh, sickness to health, what diet are you on? And um, uh, and I do this in my office. I, I say, well, I'm on the the, uh, the real food diet, and I call it my 5S diet. Seafood, salads, smoothies. I have a smoothie every morning, a fruit and yogurt smoothie. Spices, lots of spices, and supplements. The 5S um. diet is very simple for uh, anti-inflammation, uh, you know, the shuns, um, weight control, just generally feeling good. It makes a difference. Um, I have done short fasts for uh, maybe uh, one or two days. Mm-hmm. I, I could not believe it. It was amazing. You mentioned smoothies. Uh, mm-hmm. You have a smoothie each day? Yes, each morning? every morning. Well, five mornings a week. I begin, I call this the sipping solution, <laughs> the sipping solution. And actually, um, uh, this has become quite popular. I'm going to, on Friday night, actually take uh, folks into my kitchen and show them how to make a terrific smoothie, the sipping solution. And what happens, the sipping solution is good for the very young because it's a way of sneaking foods into kids that they don't like, like kale, for example. Uh, also, 
as we get into prime time, our nutrients, we don't absorb nutrients as well. We don't digest foods as fast. And so um, sipping on a smoothie all day long is good for, I call, the two shuns that we prime timers get. Indigestion, our heartburn, and Uh constipation. Okay. Blended food just travels through the intestines so much more friendly. Well, that's good to know. So is this your breakfast in lieu of a uh, traditional breakfast? or yeah. It's yeah. a substitute for that traditional it's breakfast. It's a substitute for that. I do it five days a week, and then I love eggs, and I'll have a, probably an omelet breakfast the other two. But, and then I just sip slowly on the smoothie all day long, and that's my breakfast and my lunch and my mid-morning, mid-afternoon snacks. Never hungry, never too full. You don't want to go hungry because that's, that's not good for the body. And oh. um, sometimes if I need extra energy, I'll put a big glob of peanut butter in it. But uh, it's called the sipping solution. Very nice. I, uh, do you use a particular blender? That always gets people like me that aren't into yes, smoothies. Yeah, I yet. use the Vitamix. Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah, and I, then I put a big scoop of a, a protein powder in it uh, called Juice Plus Complete. And then I put um, uh, organic yogurt, like a Stonyfield organic uh, Greek yogurt has higher protein. And I add blueberries. Blueberries are the, um, the brain berry, I call it. In fact, I, I go into the brain quite a bit in my medical practice. and I give parents and, and prime timers four brain foods. Salmon, uh, greens, like spinach, kale, arugula. Berries, blueberries, a brain berry, and nuts. And a very easy way to remember that is go fish, go blue, go green, and go nuts. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We have a saying, Dr. Seals, that just because somebody's driving you crazy, you don't have to give them the keys. (laughs) Oh, that is wonderful. I love that. In in this case, it's all good for good health. Um, I just love your sayings, Judge. I just love your little (laughs) anecdotes. We're working on that theory that you tell your patients, I'm sure, they tell us children laugh 300 times a day. So our little crew, we're working to find ways to laugh and smile throughout the day, take the pressure off. But this is something that's quite easy for all of us to incorporate into our system of eating. Uh, Get your your ingredients uh, the night before, the Greek yogurt, uh, frozen blueberries, you put the nuts in the in the blender also? No, I nibble on nuts. They're my snack. Okay, okay they're your snack. <laughs> but you, you mentioned that complete protein. And mm-hmm. this this is the Positive Impact Now show. And we're talking with Dr. William Seals. And he's telling us what smoothie he sips on during the week. Mm-hmm. So the juice plus complete. What, what is that, sir? Well, it's just just a very good protein powder Okay. uh, that has the perfect blend of fiber and protein, healthy fats, uh, the vitamins you need. And um, I like chocolate. I love chocolate, so I prefer the the chocolate flavor. In fact, I have a confession, Judge. I have have a little um, uh, square of chocolate, 80% dark chocolate every every, um, night. And, and the reason that I chose, um, I go into that SIS S supplements a bit. The reason I chose Juice Plus Complete is that uh, I'm, a, as I mentioned earlier, show me the science doctor. And so when I recommend supplements in my practice, I first I tell my patients, show me the science. Is there science on, in, is there science by, done by the, by the researchers, proving that the, sub- the supplements get into the body in the first place. Because as you, as you both know, a lot go in the top end and come out the bottom end. Uh, <laughs> they don't get into the body. That's what and you're saying. And science, uh, that they do good things. And the reason I, uh, Juice Plus is the only supplement I take, uh, because it has so much science behind it. I also prescribe another uh, supplement quite often in my medical practice, uh, omega-3 fish oil supplements, because we don't eat enough uh, fish. 
Now, uh, you have a book about that, don't you, called Essential Fatty Acids? Yeah, well, it's called, yes, it's called The Omega-3 Effect. Okay. And basically, it's um, uh, in my 5S diet, you know, the, the seafood, salads, smoothies, supplements, and spices. I realized that the two pitfalls are the seafood and the fruits and vegetables. We don't eat. 12 ounces of seafood a week. And if we did, we probably wouldn't need the supplements, nor do we need, do we eat 10 servings of fruits and vegetables a day and a serving being a fistful. And, and that's why I, um, I supplement my four S's with omega-3s for the seafood and juice plus for the fruits and vegetables. Excellent. I just remembered, I have a little technique that uh, I think maybe our listeners could use also to get their um, S's in the spices. I brew my own uh, coffee each morning, and Mm. right using the coffee grounds, I use uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, turmeric. I don't have them, so I'm not remembering them, but I use five spices that I just sprinkle on the coffee grinds each morning, and it makes it so delicious. Well, you know, science is on your side there, Judge. The, uh, in, our, in our new book, The Inflammation Prescription, we, we mentioned the whole chapter on why spices are so good. And here's a little, you mentioned turmeric, which is my top favorite. Here's a little tip. When you add turmeric and black pepper together, like on a salad, Oh. The black pepper increases the the uh, absorption of turmeric a hundredfold. Is that right? That's turmeric amazing. Chip. <laughs> so, so add the black pepper uh, with the turmeric. Yes, Very bring nice. black pepper on top of the turmeric on the salad. Yeah, when we get that coarse black pepper and grind it, it's so delicious. Mm-hmm. This is so wonderful. This is Dr. William Seals. He's going to be in Las Vegas this weekend. Listen to our show uh, Thursday. And we're going to have, um, of course, some tickets available. We'll give you the numbers for that, and we'll also put your name at the door. Doctor, you have so many interesting things that you've done and written about and talked about. Uh, I just want to go over a few more, if you don't mind. Yes, please. Um, I know you talked about the omega-3 oils. Now, it helps our brain because you said our brain is 60% fat. What about vision? Does it help vision or moods? Yes. Uh, Yes, it does, Judge. And the reason is, see, the eye is part of the brain. True. Right up there. (laughs) And the back of the brain is on the back of the eye, our projection screen, is 90% fat. And that's why I, I preach so much, we need a right fat diet. And, and so, yeah, in fact, that's the first thing I noticed when I um, made my own uh, transformation. I, um, my, I, didn't wear, I didn't have to wear glasses anymore. <laughs> is that right? Yes. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And wonderful. <laughs> yes. I'll be right behind you. That is great. So that's the omega-3s. Now, yeah. when we say omega-3s, how does that relate to omega-6s and DHA? Uh, yes. Well, DHA is an omega-3, probably the, the, the most important one. Okay. And uh, the term omega, it's called omega balance. Uh, we, we are bodies in balance. We need to be in balance. And that means eating... Uh, so I usually uh, have a whole session that I say, give yourself an oil change. <laughs> it sounds like a car engine, right. but we, we all need an oil change. We Americans eat too much of omega-6s. Now, they're good oils, you know, oh. like the flower oil, sunflower and safflower. Uh, they're, they're good oils, but we eat too much of them. So the body needs a balance of omega-3 oils, like fish oil, and a balance, and the uh, plant oils, like the flower oils, but not too much. So it's called Omega Balance. That's what my book, The Omega-3 Effect, is all about, is putting our, our body in balance and how to give yourself the healthy oil change. 
Well, one of the things that we all struggle with, Dr. Sears, is what do we look for when we choose supplements? Because the omega-3s are a prime example. Uh, Some come from fish oil, some from creole, some from uh, other things. We don't know. What should we look for when we look to buy supplements? Sure. Uh, and, and in general, for any supplement, Judge, uh, the fruits and vegetable supplement is, num- is, is the top one. And, and fish oil supplements, you say, show me the science. <laughs> now, when it comes to fish oil, there is there's over two, uh, 2,000 medical journal articles showing the value of fish oil from head to toe, the brain, the eyes, the gums, the heart, the skin, the gut, the joints, and also for fruits and vegetable supplements. Uh, well, my, and my favorite is, is Juice Plus. It's the most scientifically researched fruit and vegetable concentrate. And show me the science. Uh, and, and so that's why I say anybody, when they're, you, you go to the store, you pick out a supplement, you want to get the science behind it. Is there science showing it gets into the, into the bloodstream, and is there science showing it does healthful things for it once it gets in there? Well, that's very important because vitamins and nutrition is such an exploding field. So yeah. many people are getting in. Um, and I know with, uh, I tend to look for brands that have been on the market a long time, it's only because I didn't know what else to look for. But now that you're telling us, look for the science, uh, try and ascertain, does this supplement, is it absorbed by our body and yes. not just passing through? I've heard people in the um, field of water filtration say mm-hmm. that there's so much evidence that much of the vitamins and minerals that we take are just passed through the body. They're not absorbed. That's true, and that's why it's so important to get uh, your vitamins and minerals from whole foods. And, and the reason is, you know, the, whole, the, the fruits and vegetables, uh, whole foods, it's, it's called synergy. The vitamins and minerals in things like a tomato or kale or broccoli or an apple or orange, the vitamins and minerals, they, they, play, they play like a symphony orchestra. And... When you eat them together, like maybe 15 or 20 together, they all help each other work better in the body. And that's why they're so much better than taking like an isolated vitamin, like a vitamin C or vitamin B or ABCs and all that uh, alone. The vitamins in whole food and whole food concentrates, they are much better absorbed. And and it makes sense, again, because it's something natural. Well, we're going to have information about Juice Plus on uh, PositiveImpactNow.com website, so you will be able to get more information there. And also we're going to give you information about some of uh, Dr. William Seal's books, so you'll be able to get that information. And also we're going to um, give you information about... Uh, hearing Dr. Seals in person, which I am just ecstatic to think about. We have Mm. some tickets for you. So you want to go to positiveimpactnow.com to get all that information. We will help you get entrance into the workshop and get all that good information. Dr. Seals, I'm going to let you go because you've been so patient with us and so kind and so wonderful. Thank you so much. That was Dr. William Seals. We want to remind you that he's having his one-night-only seminar tomorrow, Friday, September the 20th, and that's going to be from 7 to 8.30 in the evening. That's Friday, tomorrow, September the 20th. His topic is Take On Your Health, 10 Top Health Tips for All Ages. Uh, I'm going to be there. Mike is... Faust is going to be there. It should be very exciting because uh, Dr. Seal says they're the five S's. We should have seafoods, salads, spices, and supplements. So I hope to see you. Uh, go to uh, positiveimpactnow.com. 
we have emails, we have telephone numbers. You can text us or email us, and we would love to uh, put your name on the list. Make sure you get in. There is a cost if you go to the workshop just on your own, and that's $15 a person. But we have some passes for you. We can put your name on a list. You do not have to pay anything. Come as Positive Impact Now guests, please. And also for the nurses, there are CEUs available, 1.5 uh, continuing education units, and that's for from the Nevada State Board of Nursing. Also, if you're in child care, you can get CEUs, a 1.5 unit for attending. So any nurses or child care workers that you know, contact us, and we will make sure they have a complimentary entry and get some good information and meet some wonderful people. That is tomorrow, uh, September the 20th at LVH, the old Las Vegas Hilton Casino. We hope to see you. We look forward to seeing you in person. And now at this time, we're going to move on to our segment called Business Matters with Mike Faust. Absolutely. Host. This is Mike Faust, broker salesperson with First Choice Business Brokers. And I want to share a little bit of information with you, first of all, uh, regarding a job fair. This is a jobs update from Business Matters. There's a job fair coming up September 26th. That's next Thursday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, that's going to be held at Texas Station. It's the LasVegasJobs.com job fair. Dress to impress everybody and bring a resume. They have a service, uh, a free resume review. It's up to 50 companies that are going to be in attendance at this show. Uh, that includes Zappos, Amazon Las Vegas, the Healthcare uh, Preparatory Institute, MGM Grand, Sears, etc. There's just going to be a ton of companies out there. Those of you that are looking for work, uh, this is a great opportunity. And uh, if you uh, 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 have the kind of luck that I hope you'll have, man, there's bound to be opportunities there. The economy's picking up in Las Vegas. Things are happening. These uh, employers are going to be there looking for solid people. You can get interviews, face-to-face -face interviews, right on the spot. So come prepared to present yourself uh, and put your best foot forward, and uh, hopefully things will work out. One of the things that I wanted to discuss with you this afternoon uh, is some things that I've noticed among some of the most successful people I've ever met. I've been in, uh, I'm a business broker now in Las Vegas for over eight years, helping people to buy and sell businesses here in town. Uh, I have over 20 years transactional experience. And some of the things that I've noticed include that dress to impress thing. I, these guys, these people that come to mind when I think about the most successful people I've ever met, one of the things that comes to mind is always, these guys always seem to have a presentable appearance. Even if they're not working this day, you catch them on an off day, even, uh, I don't know, even on the golf course, man, these guys are sharp. They're, they, they look good all the time. Okay, and that's something to keep in mind, I think, in your everyday activities and, and just your everyday life is to always be conscious of the image that you present okay words that come to mind when I think about the way these people do business okay is an important thought in most cases I found these people to be very straightforward upfront forthright kind of people some of them are more soft-spoken than others some are very dynamic and others are really kind of low-key but nearly never do you get the image of the slick, fast talker or the, the smooth operator or the person that really plays it kind of close to the vest. You know, he's, they say that seems to be overly careful about sharing information with you. Why is that? Why would they do that? Do they have something to hide? So you avoid all those things when you have that upfront sort of manner about you, a matter of fact sort of business manner about you. Uh, I found, in my experience, that as a rule, if people like you and they trust you, they'll do business with you. They'll buy what you're selling. And I think you need to keep that in mind in doing business. Uh, with the job situation being what it is, I encourage people all the time to consider starting a business, buying an existing business. Get into the business world. This is, this is far more prevalent 
in some other cultures than it is in ours. But times are changing. The days of the uh, 50 years on the job and the gold watch. Uh, so those days may be changing. I don't know if we're still going to see a whole lot of that. Now, one of the things that I, uh, I wanted to bring up a quick case in point uh, on how your image can impact your ability to be successful in business. In a uh, recent case, uh, I had a client call me. Uh, she was a lady that had great experience. A familiar staff was in place that she had worked with for a long time. Uh, she was in a business that she loved and was operating successfully, but it was a small business, and she was very interested in expanding that business. So she met an investor. Uh, this investor was introduced to her by a common friend, uh, and that common friend, that mutual friend, only knew him by a nickname. But they got together and they started looking things over. This investor was very interested in the business that she was involved with. She had a staff in place, had clientele in place, and was a going concern. So it looked like a perfect match. She was ready to expand. He had the money to help her do it. And so they had an initial meeting, and that meeting led to negotiations on the business structure, some of the terms of the deal, including her pay and so forth, and it didn't really go the way that she had hoped it would go. And she called me on the phone and expressed to me uh, her concerns that he was sort of difficult to negotiate with, that she was having trouble uh, making sense of some of the things that he was saying. And one of the things that really concerned her was that at the end of their meeting, she said, oh, by the way, uh, what's your last name? And he said, well, we'll get together on some of that stuff later, but forward me your business plan, and uh, we'll discuss what we're talking about uh, uh, after I have a chance to review that. And when she called me and told me this, I made a few suggestions about uh, the structure, how she could structure that business to make it uh, uh, so that both parties involved would be well protected. I made some suggestions to her about some of the things that she could include in the contract that she would put together with him. And uh, in fact, recommended to her that maybe the type of contract that she was talking about wouldn't really be necessary, that they could put all of the information that they needed to define their separate duties and responsibilities into the corporate charter. They should form a corporation her name should be on that corporation, okay? She's not going into this as an employee. She's going in as a partner. So she needed to do the things that would protect her and put her in the position that she thought she was going to be in. And as things were progressing, evidently, that wasn't happening. So near the end of my conversation with her, I suggested to her also that she should maybe find another investor. So the lesson here is clear. If you're beginning a, bu a business relationship with an individual, I mean, typically on a business like this, it's, there's going to be a considerable investment. And if it's not your money, it's your time, your knowledge, your effort. Okay, so there's going to be a considerable investment. If you're having trouble working with this person right now, Okay, a business relationship is no different than any other personal relationship. If, if, if right at the beginning you're not able to communicate well, work out issues and problems together, okay, what, what's going to happen in the future? Where are you going to be when there are tens or hundreds or hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line? Okay, so you really can't ignore the red flags, at the beginning of any personal relationship, I think, uh, particularly in business. And Judge Angel, I think you might agree that that's equally true in personal relationships. Absolutely. You want to follow your instinct. I think it's, it's, we are spiritual beings. That's who we are. And we need to pay attention. I need to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell people that, you know, you shouldn't really jump to conclusions. You don't want to, as B.B. King used to say, make your move too soon. 
Okay, so yes, you can give people the benefit of the doubt. But as I say, in my experience, if you, I, I, I'm a Midwestern man. I, I, I grew up in the middle of the country in a small town. And I have brought those Midwestern small town values with me my whole life. The things we grew up with were, were uh, an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Uh, your word is your bond. You know, treat other people the way you want to be treated. And those are the same kinds of things that I see in these very successful business people who come from all around the world. And so they're, they're, they are solid values that, that I like to and intend to promote, and I have a platform and I'm using it. So I hope you'll take that advice to heart. And should you get involved in a business or be involved currently in a business, then definitely I want to encourage you to take those kinds of values and that type of image seriously and I'd like you to move forward accordingly. Give me a call. If you're getting involved with a business or thinking about getting involved with a business, or if you have a business and you're thinking about your plans for the future for that business, uh, I hope you'll give me a call and talk with me and let me share some ideas with you. My name's Mike Faust, broker salesperson at First Choice Business Brokers. My cell phone number is 702-610-1966. And this is Business Matters with Positive Impact Now, KLAV, 1230 AM radio. Okay, and what number is that again? That is 702-610-1966. If people are like me, I'm driving and I'm listening like, what? Wait, say that number again so I can try and remember it. At least tap it into that phone. Thank you very much. Very interesting business matters, Mike. Very interesting. Thank you. In fact, let's repeat that job fair information. Absolutely. That's an important thing, and we intend to make this a a regular part of our show, giving you a jobs update. If I can find some information that's going to help you uh, find some work, then definitely I want to make sure you're aware of it. That's at the... uh, that is the Texas Station. At Texas Station, that's correct. September 26th, next Thursday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's the LasVegasJobs.com job fair. And in fact, if you go to LasVegasJobs.com, they have 25 seats available at 10.30 a.m. that morning uh, for free job counseling. Okay, they want to help you prepare yourself to get a job. And, and if any of you that listen to Positive Impact Now get a job or you get a follow-up, let us know. We want to cheer you on and and encourage you and just be a part of your support system. Well, we thank you so much for joining us today. We thank Dr. William Sears for his great information. And again, we encourage everyone to join Dr. Sears tomorrow, September the 20th, Friday at 7 p.m., Uh, Use our name, Positive Impact Now, and it's a complimentary entry, uh, and we hope to see you again. We're so grateful to you. We want to thank Arma, Lawrence, and the crew here at KLAV. You can hear us every Thursday at KLAV, 1230 AM radio, uh, from 4 to 5. That is Positive Impact Now. I'm Judge Angel. And I'm Mike Faust. And we say together, together. In unity, all of us together can make a positive (laughs) impact now. Okay, that was real good. And let us know how you do at the job fair, guys. We're rooting for you. We're pulling for you. And we know you're going to do well. Look us up and like us on Facebook. That's uh, Facebook slash Positive Impact Now. Thanks. And go to the website, uh, www.positiveimpactnow.com.